All right, guys, here at Locals with Top 8 finisher Matthew. And uh, obviously, he was running playing. an Exodia deck. So tell, me, tell us why you wanted to play this deck today. All right, so Exodia's been like a, a card from my childhood. I mean, I love this card ever since I first saw it. Kind of, kind of sad it never gets played. So I run it just because I want to. All right, let's go into it. So clearly we have the, you know, the five pieces. You always got to have them. Wish we could have more, but, you know, one of each copy works. And, and um, is this your only real win comp? No, so I've got two win cons. So we're getting that to This later. is the main win con now. Cool. How many times did you Exodia someone today? Today, four times. I Exodia oh, someone okay. four times. Okay, cool. So we have the, the real MVP of the card, best card in the deck, uh, Bacon Saver. Does absolutely nothing because you're not going to sell that more than one turn. <laughs> But uh, so we have. But this is literally here just because dude needed fortieth card. Uh, yeah, I needed the fortieth <laughs> card. And change of heart wasn't wasn't fitting the bill. Uh, we have ghost ogre and snow rabbit, so that you know, in case anybody gets good monsters you know, right off the bat, you can pop them, destroy them right off the bat, unless you can't target. Uh, Ash, this is really here just to stop people from drawing into fucking back row removal because you're gonna lose without your back row. So you think you could bump that one up to more copies? You absolutely could. If you were, I would recommend taking out... We'll get into it later, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Probably the mystical space type. Go ahead and pick two. You can open two. Um, so then we run three copies of Mystic. Scummiest card in the game. I know, I know. <laughs> so Exodia does not activate, so Mystic Mind... Yeah, this is an immediate effect, so Mystic Mind does not cancel it. However, that does get you killed sometimes. <laughs> yeah, come on. Set um, so the second win condition in the deck is wave motion cannon. If you can get your mystic out, you can wait eight turns and just kill them right off the bat. And there's one of them. Yeah, just the one of wave motion. You'll brick that if you pull more than one. So the field barrier is here. I would probably recommend running two field barriers. I've only got one because of convenience, but you know, two would probably be better. <laughs> Because opening hand, field barrier, and mystic mind, field barrier negates mind's effect to pop itself. So you can leave this on the field without any consequences. Then we run three extravagance. It's uh, it's been outshadowed by by pot of Pro prosperity, but I mean extravagance still gets the job done. Much cheaper. Obviously. Yeah, it's much cheaper. We run three dualities. You know, getting to see, getting to pick which one of the three you want is very helpful, especially when you're trying to pull either Mystic or Field Barrier right off the bat. Uh, one Terraforming, because you can only have one Terraforming. And obviously we know what Terraforming is for. So I run MST mainly for those one-off situations where they get something on the field that can really fuck you. Or if you're scared of a fucking... Cosmic Cyclone that they've got set. Uh, so this one was one I was recently introduced to. Goddess Skulled Oracle. Let you look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them in any order. This is a great way to stop them from ever getting any back row removal. Especially if you got mine out, so the monster effects basically cancels out the half their field. Uh, upstart, it can get you killed in time because of the life point gain, you know, if, if you if you take too long to play the cards or your opponent's intentionally stalling on you, you know, you, they can run the time down, but wave motion tactic, like wave motion cannon should, uh, should counter this one's card's real weakness, so that's really all there is to that. Uh, one day of peace at one as well. This card's good because, you know, you, you can't get damaged, any damage at all. Stops burn decks, basically anything for an entire turn. So, you know, you get a card only downside is that it's equal trade so they get a card too but if you've got if you've got this combo set up already with the mystic mind and the field barrier it's not really going to matter so we run one ledger we used to be at three but the three turn wait is too big of a drawback to to really be running this card at three anymore uh this is for uh, what's that? The crow? Oh, Diddy Crow? Yeah, this is for the Diddy Crow. If you lose a piece 
I don't have any. There is no banish survival in this deck. If you lose a piece of Exodia to the banish zone, you lose the duel. I don't have any ideas for what I could what I could switch out for a banish survivor card, but you know, this is this is really to stop any graveyard effects that'll that'll break you from drawing or banish a card. Um, Demise of Land. It's a great. What's it called? Second copy of Metaverse. Second copy of Metaverse. I would run two of this, um, but with the with the condition of it having to be a special summon monster, it's probably better to just run one of those and one of Metaverse. And then we have Metaverse. I, I, we're out of the spells, under the traps. We have Metaverse. Metaverse, you know, all, we, all, all for Mystic Mind as well. It's the only field spell in this deck. It's the only field spell you'll ever need. <laughs> probably sell it. Get your kid's mortgage. <laughs> we got um, three dark bribes. You can't run Solemn Judgment or Solemn Strike in this deck because life, bur life Point is back to being a crucial factor in the game. It's no longer a material if you're running this Exodia deck. You will run into situations where time is very important and you need to have as many life points as possible. We run three legacies of Yada. This is just for the one card draw. They can be pop, you know, basically whenever, but they, they help you carry into other one cards. It's not the best trade off, but this game doesn't like when you draw cards anyways, so. Same thing for the Jar of Greeds. They're a great one pop. We have Jar of Arvis. In case you do lose an Exodia piece to the graveyard, you can always just put it right back in your deck. I wouldn't set this card right away. People do like to just pop back row at random, so if you lose this and then lose an Exodia piece... Your only win con is decking them out, yeah, or...? Your only win con is decking them out, or hope you don't lose Wave Motion Tactic as well, or Wave Motion Cannon. And then the last two trap cards we run are two copies of Reckless Greed. I used to run three, but not being able to draw for two turns is kind of a serious setback, especially if you've already got all of your spell cards in your hand, all of your all of your field spells, because then you can't you can't really use terraforming, you can't use demise of land. It, it bricks really bad if you if you draw into cards you can't use to draw. So we only run two copies of this now. So one note I would uh, say about some choice I've seen. Just as a tip, as you, what you lost to ended up being the the thing I would think would kill you the most was Draco back. Yeah. And this card doesn't like this card doesn't save you from Draco back because it just gets re-equipped anyways. Mm -hmm. So unless they've used the discard effect of re-equipped, which then you then you're safe. But if they hard activate it on the token, uh, if you activate this it, or Dark Bribe, it's just going to re-equip. So Cosmic Cyclone would probably yeah, be your I was best option. Say, Cosmic Cyclone would probably be a better swap out for for Mystic. Yeah. I just don't have a Cosmic Cyclone. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I'm just there's a tip. But no, that, that's yeah, it'd be a much better option. The only downside is the thousand life points. But I mean, when it comes to winning or losing the duel, it's probably a better good trade. It's just a good trade off. Because it, the, the life points don't really matter that much if they can't attack you. Exactly. But then again, burn decks are a big issue. A friend of mine plays uh, Banquet. Yeah, banquet. That'll kill you real fast, especially with this deck because they're not planning on attacking you anyways. The extra deck is just scrap. Uh, you don't summon monsters, so you're never really going to get to use any of these. You can, if you really wanted to, throw a Waking of Dragon in here and then stack your extra deck, but you're going to lose a lot of them to Extravagance anyways. So it's probably really not it's not worth it I mean it. I guess it'd still be an option yeah in games 2 and 3 for people playing Lightning Storm and Feather Duster like it'd be good for that but that, that's really it shout out to you Bacon Saver yeah best card in the deck <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we'll see you guys in the next video and make sure you smash the like button and check out the links in the description uh, we got maybe we have an Exodia playmat and a t-shirt thing maybe going forward okay deuces